Well, look at this. I'm gonna start this log in a turn, baby. <laughs> oh, goodness, I love this bike. And I love these turns. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> I got a big smile on my face. Oh, that was also very cold on my nose. My nose. My little, little nose. Actually, I think I have a big nose. But either way. So, yeah. People keep asking me, why do I not switch over to the GoPro? Because the 10C is very, very convenient, guys. Now, what I mean by convenient is it's one small unit. There's nothing big stuck on my helmet. It's one tiny little unit that basically takes care of all of my needs. You know, the attachment for the microphone, the attachment for the for the speakers, everything goes into one little spot on this little guy right here. And with the camera built in, it just makes a lot of sense. It really does. It's one unit. It's no different than, you know, the Sina communicators, if you will. And it's one of the reasons I absolutely love having the Sina. Now, the Sina, on the other hand, does have some problems. And battery life is obviously the biggest problem that it's got. You know, you're, you're limited in battery life and it's not that great. I also found some connectivity issues with other Sina products. Um, so that's not cool. But, you know, I keep the firmware up to date and sometimes it works itself out, sometimes it doesn't and whatever. But it's not the end of the world. With uh, the Sina 10C Evo though, is gonna give me a higher resolution image and that's gonna allow me to do a little bit better quality videos in terms of the visual quality not the quality like in general because I'm never gonna make good videos obviously I'm just a guy who tries but I don't know if you will ever succeed <laughs> but honestly guys I mean when it's all said and done it just comes down to the very small basics you know the, the, I want the camera to do certain things I want the cameras the image to be a little bit sharper regardless of the speed and so forth and so on and as you guys know I'm not crazy on speeding and doing crazy crazy stuff you okay buddy uh, so yeah I mean yeah, that shouldn't necessarily be a problem but having it the 10c Evo recording at 1080p at 60 frames per second is something that I definitely look forward to now the thing is most people really do go off on me about you know uh, Mr. K, if you go with the GoPro, you have options of where you're gonna put it and for some people they really love the front uh, facing, you know, the, the, the ones on the chin and the reason they love that is because it's a different perspective. I personally love the side view. I love uh, seeing the helmet a little bit in, in the, uh, you know, in the videos and it just, I don't know, I love the perspective that that gives and so yeah, I mean for me, the if I wanted this particular look, if I wanted, you know, the one on the chin, I, I, there was no way I could do that uh, with the Cena. Ooh, what's this? Why do we not know? Oh, uh, that was short. So, yeah, there's no way to do that with the Cena. And I think the Cena could have been done better many, many different ways. But overall, as a product, I really do like the product. It's, it's a great product for what it's, you know, I think the intention is great. Execution maybe could have been better. I would have loved to see a little bit, even if the unit was a little bit bigger with a bigger battery, I would have been more than fine with that. I'm not joking about that, guys. I actually would have preferred a little bit bigger unit um, with a bigger battery. So, you know, if I'm recording right now, I can't really record past, let's say, an hour and a half to two hours max. And I do have a kit that I put together so I can charge it on the go. The cool thing is it does record while it's being charged. So that's actually kind of nice. I did kind of put something together for that. Uh, but it's still annoying to have to keep doing that. So like I said, if Sina would have made this system a little bit bigger, um, but give me a bigger battery, I would have been perfectly, perfectly fine with that. Instead, they decided to keep it nice and small and give me practically like, you know, no battery. And I, I'll be honest with you guys, the battery does deteriorate. I mean, when I first got this, you know, I was able to do about an hour and 50 minutes worth of recording and that was without a problem. That was actually pretty easy to, 
you know, in that sense, it was pretty easy to uh, go for about an hour and 50 minutes just recording. Now I'm down to sometimes as low as an hour and 20 minutes. And I would, uh, one of my uh, last videos you guys saw me, I actually, the camera just cut out completely. Wow, that dog was not happy with me. So I ended up having to, uh, you know, put in the ending uh, in writing. And I don't like to do that. I actually do love saying goodbye to you guys. And that particular ride, I don't think I was out there for maybe an hour and 15 maybe an hour and 20 at the most so the camera just died in the middle of um, you know do, me doing my shoot well it wasn't the middle I was pretty much done with the shoot anyway I just wanted to you know give you guys an ending um, obviously that didn't happen <laughs> so that kind of that kind of got to me I wasn't very happy with that wow okay you just do that dude you know solid white line who cares about it so yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm hoping that the Cine 10 C Evo is going to have a little bit longer battery life. I'm not sure if it will, but if it does, I'll be pretty happy with that. <sighs> you know, this is a motor vlogger's uh, dream, obviously. You know, let's, let's just go and do the videos. But yeah, you can't if you don't have batteries to do it with. On that same note, this is, I think, where the GoPro wins. The GoPro wins because it, you can just change out the camera and poof, uh, the camera. <laughs> you can change out the battery on the camera and just continue on. Uh, but again, it's bulky, it's big, it's annoying and so forth and so on. So yeah, I mean, I think the GoPro has um, lots of advantages as does the Sina. What are you guys doing? Somebody go. Jesus. I like how he's like waving thanks. No, it was your turn to go. Unless I'm blind. But, um, so yeah. That's what the 10 Cena is. That's that's the way I see the 10 Cena right now. I just wish, I really wish that they would have made either a battery pack uh, expansion. Like something you can attach to it or attach behind it or attach to the helmet. Or, I mean, look, I mean, the 10 C was not designed for your adventurous guy that goes, got, like, you know, they had to have motor vloggers obviously in mind. That's why it was a, there's a helmet adjustment and blah, blah, blah. So, if, you, if you're a company that's designing this stuff, uh, you know, go out there and try motor vlogging yourself and see how long it lasts and kind of work with it. I don't think they've done that, to be honest with you. And if they have, they're sure as heck not doing uh, vlogging. They're just doing a little recording of here and there, you know. I personally would love to see a big change in it. It's just, I just highly doubt it's going to happen. And the uh, Evo is not definitely not going to be uh, the one that is going to make any ma massive changes in terms of battery life, as far as I can tell. So, either way, that's my opinion. That's what I'm, you know, that that's what I think. And you guys decide whatever you want. You guys keep asking me one way or the other. Look, I'm using a GoPro for my front uh, camera, front-facing camera, um, and I'm using my Cena on my helmet cam. So I use both. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and use both, go use both. If not, oh well, right? <laughs> I hope it helped for those of you guys who are curious. And I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm going to leave it here, and I will chat with you guys later. Bye-bye. Survive.